Wow, wow. it's so sweet eh. You know what they remind me of? What? My sister's colony of ants. Oh my god, the lady reminds me of myself. When I got hit by a car. <laughs>I heard that you love to play with dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quite. Because I've been inspired by the kid in my school. But you, you like to play that game, right? That dinosaur game that you always post about? Yes, I bought the thing but I only played it once because I've been so busy, you know. Okay, so clearly she doesn't like to play with dinosaurs. So if you're a fan of prehistoric times, Yu Cha is actually selling their bubble tea or like any other drinks in dinosaur egg packaging. You can drink out of a dinosaur egg. And they are reusable. That means you are not only, you know, drinking out of a dinosaur egg, throw back to prehistoric times but you're also saving the turtles you can get them for free if you spend more than $20 at their store or you just top up $1.50 on top of your drink and then you get it packaged in your dinosaur cup moving on I'm very excited for this news because that means we're going again oh my god okay so backstory yeah. Sam is in love with NOC and she's in love with Food King so she actually went to participate and she won some vouchers. And that was way before she became the brand new superstar, you know. <laughs> like it's true foreshadowing and eh. she won that like $50 voucher and then after she became the brand new superstar, she decided to use that $50 voucher and treat me, the not brand new superstar, to Burger Plus and it's amazing. We only spent $4 for $54 worth of food. And now you can also pay like very little. You know why not? Let me tell you, first anniversary, $7.77 for 14 pieces of fried chicken. That's how many do the math. 55 cents per piece. And then you can get truffle mac and cheese for how much? $2.99. Truffle eh. Yeah, it's Food King good somewhere eh. Just go down now. Now, before 30th September. Mm -hmm. See you all there, y'all. Moving on. Okay, so... We have a new segment in this show. It's called the Samaritan of the Week. And it also sounds like Samantha of the Week. No, it's Samantha Tan of the Week. Samantha Tan, Samaritan. Wow, wow, we have a mathematician in the midst. Anyone need math you sure you can hit Samantha Tan up. But anyway, so this is a very, very long story. It starts with a little bit of sadness, a bit of quarrels, but it What's that word? Exponentially increases in the levels of happiness And positive day. So in a handicapped toilet in Jam, There was an argument that happened between this old lady and her son And her son was hurt like screaming at her lah So the Don Don Donkey staff called the mall security to ask what's going on Okay, I will keep track So Don Don Donkey staff Yeah Good person Security came Good person number Okay, two. so the security came and they realised that she had a like unfortunate accident in the toilet We are not going to like divulge lah but you know most probably what it is lah And so the staff right Instead of going like Oh my god what's going on They just rush to comfort her you know mm. And so we want to like Shout out Mariama and David From the security team at Jam They just immediately went to comfort her And that's not all So come on from Love Bonito, she came up with a dress eh, to, to change her. Yeah, so she actually just took a dress off the Love Bonito Rex mm. to help change the lady without even like hesitating or anything. Shout out to you, Carmen. And that's not all. So apparently the police were involved also. And so um, one of the police officers, Imran, Imran yeah. yeah, Imran noticed that because the dress was actually taken off the shelves yeah, of the photo, yeah, there, there was, was still the tag. tag, the security tag. He went to pay to make sure not everything was legal, like there was no shoplifting involved. And I just feel like this whole situation, right, like it's so rare, you know, to see in Singapore and to have like positivity and positivity yeah, and positivity. positivity. And it's really cool like how this whole chain of events happen just because of like one bad incident. Yeah. And like normally, you no know, people will just take out their phones to storm. Yeah. Or like to be like, oh, look like, at this. Oh, the angry son and the mum. Yeah, yeah, but like 
let's shed light on what positive things happen after that. And also, instead of just leaving the situation as that, all the people involved, they actually went to help like contact helplines and stuff like that because this lady has dementia. La. Yeah, so I hope everything's fine for you now. And to all those people involved in this entire incident, thank you so much. It really made me so happy reading this whole piece of news. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on! Speaking of toilets, Mr. Adrian Lim is starting an artisanal coffee business or potentially can start an artisanal coffee business. Why Sam? Why? Because the civet cats, okay, civet cats are not like the typical cats in Singapore. They look like a raccoon with a cat's body, okay? They poop very good poop that can make very good coffee. They are the ones that are responsible for Kopi Luwak. Yeah. Which is the, the cat shit coffee that people like pay really a lot of money, like, right? Mm. Yeah. So apparently this guy right, he was sleeping. And then the civil cat entered the third floor toilet and knocked down every shampoo bottle. The, no, the civil cat came in, he's like, we need to rearrange this. This is not good for your like chi or something like that. Yeah. So he just pop, 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 pop. And then so when he opened the door, right, he was like, Holy shit, there's what? a civet cat in my house. <laughs> and okay, this one, okay, can you see the photo? It's black and damn big, eh. I'll be super frightened. I'll think it's a panther or something. And then I someone I stay HDB, right? Can you imagine you open your and then it's a cat there? I'll be like, okay, Jesus, just take me now. So right now, right, um, he actually contacted Acres and all the relevant like authorities. And now he created a little pa passageway so that the civet can just leave as and when he wants. But Adrian Lim, you're missing out on an amazing opportunity to sell civet shit coffee. Both of us are willing to start a business with you. Yes, if you want to sell your own personal artisanal civet cat shit coffee, hit us up here, y'all. Moving on. It's so right. We just decided right here, right now, that we're gonna be doing a, a brand new segment. segment. And what is it gonna be? It's gonna be the heartwarming clip of the, of the week. week. <laughs> yeah, so please, um, if you want, right, send in your heartwarming clip. Just send us links, okay? Sam sent me this. I have not seen it yet. I've so, seen halfway through, but I feel like it's good already. So we're gonna react to it. Oh, so many things rolling, rolling. What's that? She got knocked down by a car. <gasps> Oh my god, I can relate. But what's that? Is that tissue paper or orange? Or fruits? I think it's like vegetables, right? Oh my god, that's so sweet eh. Can you see Good Samaritan 1, 2 and 3 and yeah. 4 and 5 and 6? Oh my god, everyone <gasps> eh. 7, 8, 9. Wait, wait, is the lady still there? She's sitting down. Okay, is anyone calling an ambulance? Cause... Yes, yes, yes. Got her. Wow, so many people eh. About 20 people came to help. Oh my god. You know what they remind me of? What? My sister's colony of ants. Oh my god, the lady reminds me of myself. When I got hit by a car. <laughs> Who are you? Okay, yeah, I thank god I wasn't wearing like so many like baskets of stuff. Okay, Chris Hughes posted this TikTok, but it's definitely not him. But thank you so much to everyone that like stopped to help. Because lady, yeah. it's a lot of people eh, and it's a lot, a lot of items also. That was so heartwarming. My faith is restored in humanity, y'all. Okay, anyway, so if you chance upon any other TikToks that you feel like, oh my god, this is so heartwarming, the people in the good school need, they need to react to it. Tag me in that TikTok and so we can save it and react to it here. And also share it with all of you. And if you manage to make us cry because of how heartwarming or positive it is, we will give you a virtual high five. Moving on! Okay, so this is... I feel like this initiative is so amazing. Huge shout out to It's Raining Raincoats. Mm -hmm. So basically, now that everything is slowly reopening, foreign workers are going back to work. One thing that they really, really need is smartphones. Yeah, so because there's a lot of like safe entry, different kind of check-in points and stuff. And a lot of them have very outdated phones, so they cannot access the QR code scanning thing. It's Raining Raincoats is a non-profit organisation and they are appealing to the community to donate uh, money to help fund the migrant workers with new phones. So you can either donate money or you can donate like your old phone so long as you can scan the QR code. And if you want to donate a phone itself but you don't know what to buy, right? The most affordable one right now in the market is... The Redmi 9A phone. So it's hundred and thirty nine. Yeah, hundred and thirty nine. Yeah, so that's the, like the most like entry level one that they require like if they want to be able to save entry other places. The link is here. And I'll also be leaving the link in the description. Just donate or donate your old phones or just help 
sponsor a phone because they are the literal people that built the houses Singapore. and like this entire building probably that we are in, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean that's the least we can do. Even though you can't give a phone phone, $50 is literally a third of the phone already. You just need three people $50, right? They can afford the red meal. Yeah. And so that is all for the good scoop today. If y'all got any cheapo deals that you know me and Sam can afford and you want to promote here or if you find out like I don't know there's a good Samaritan living next to you he's always giving out food to his community or anyone you just want to shout out you know like give them a pat on the back email us down below <laughs> and remember to leave something positive in the comments because we're watching and remember to click here for more and click here to subscribe Anyway, for those clothing brands, right, if you can, please dress me. I would really appreciate it. Wow, the brand new superstar be begging for a brand new wardrobe or something. Okay, dress us. Dress both of us. Oh my god, yes. Um, Yeni clothes, just saying. Mm -hmm. Look, look, look. Oh my god, it's from Mustafa. Stop shaming me, Sam. You're so evil. I have a free merchandise though from NOC.